Dear Chopper. Yo, smash that subscribe button, bro. If you ever drink water, smash that like button. Don't forget to turn on your post. <laughs> I'm gonna turn those post notifications to me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chat about that. Fine. Yeah. Go get your. Hey, man. Go get your snacks and shit. We got some drama. We got some drama. Go get your snacks, bro. We got some drama. I'm excited, bro. Oh my god. We got some drama. Talk to me. Jason. Talk to me. I say King Sid. Talk to me. time has come. Yeah. <laughs> we got trauma. We got trauma. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love drama. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm excited. I'm excited. We got drama. We got drama. Yo, chat. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's crazy. That is crazy. All that bullshit. All that being fake behind closed doors. Mm. It's time to bring it to the light. Mm. Listen, people. If you uh. have not peeped it already, and some of y'all did, and some of y'all didn't. What what Okay, it's not opening. <laughs> I don't f with bro. I don't let a lot of sh die down, but I did not let nothing slide, fam. Mm. You tried it and you tried me. You tried my character. You tried mm. my intelligence. Mm. You size me, fam. Like I'm a goofy, like I'm some goofball, like I'm a lame ass nigga. Before I even get started, let me just make one thing clear. That Steve the Steve's group, I'm not a part of that. Do not oh, associate man. me with yeah. that. Sh I'm not a part of that group. Mm. That group. It's nothing for that group. That group was just a big ass scam for just to put money in this nigga pockets, bro. Oh, it's this shit. Nigga was using our faces to put money in his fucking pockets. Oh, but I'm going to get into that later on towards the video. But let me start off with you, Mr. King said. There's four reasons why I had to stop with bro matter of fact it's not even four reasons why it was the reasons that led up to me just not with bro completely bro this all started when we all move into a crib together but it was this nigga idea in the first place right he called my phone saying yo nate i'm getting a crib i want you to move in i want us to start a, a whole group channel called the steez you feel me the steez group whatever yeah he called my phone remind you at the time i was living with my mom you get what i'm saying i was still living with my mom i was like well, I'm, I'm 23 still living with my mom so Sorry, i'm just sir. like you know what let me take this opportunity to move out it's my first time moving out and and I'm moving out with other people. Ain't nothing wrong with that, by the way. I'm just gonna put out. And, uh, and they doing good for themselves. So ain't nothing wrong with that at all. That I do the same shit with, and I'm moving with other people that I'm cool with, that I grew up with, technically, because me and him graduated together in high school. I met this nigga in high school, bro. So oh, fast shit. forward, I move in. I pay 15 to move in, right? This was the first issue I had with this nigga. When I first moved into the fucking house, that first, the first two weeks, or the first week or the second week, I was on the phone downstairs with a girl. It's 2 p.m., people. Everybody else is still asleep. It's 2 p.m., right? Yeah. It's 2 p.m., I'm downstairs talking to a girl. Everybody's still asleep. Then this nigga Sid comes down. He sees me on the phone. He sees me on the phone. I see him see me on the phone. I'm talking yeah. to the girl still on the phone. Out of nowhere, five minutes later, this nigga starts yelling at me, telling me to get off the phone. Oh, why the f*** are you on the phone? What if I came downstairs and started talking, this and that? Get the fuck off the phone. You always on the phone. You always on the phone with a different b every day. Get the f*** off the phone. What the oh, f shit. My nigga. I had to stop and think and realize this nigga is telling me to get off the phone to a house I'm paying $1,200 a month. Remind you, people, I paid fifteen to move in. Now, That's crazy. After that 15, I have to no, pay no, bro. Hey, making your man's pay to move in is crazy. Making your man's pay rent is different. Like, like y'all paying rent together, okay, that's normal, right? You know, Sid definitely got the money to pay for that shit. Like, let's be honest. Sid got bread. He got the money just to pay for that shit. A hundred percent. But having you and your mans all collectively pay rent, that's not that's nothing, right? That's that's pretty normal. But making him pay fifteen hundred just to move in, that that's crazy. Twelve hundred a month. That twelve hundred only came with a bedroom and a shared bathroom with Jay Wonder. So you mean to tell me I paid all this money for you to tell me? Oh, get off the phone. Tell me what the f to do. What when to be on the phone? And you telling me to get off the phone like you my f daddy. I don't even know my f daddy, bro. And you telling me to get off the phone like <laughs> you my f daddy, bro. 
What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, that shit. Day, literally, after he said that, started yelling at me, stabbing on me to get off the phone, bro. I just walked out. I ain't saying nothing to him. The man continued yeah. rambling on. Then out of nowhere, that that's smart. when Jay Wonder comes in talk about some, oh, just ignore him. He's just... All right, let's I'm going to read the first text because I know y'all can't see it and shit. Bro, don't say none. It's just going to drag for no reason, bro. Fam, I'm not, I'm not, but not going to lie. I'm going to move out. I know, well, no, nah, I don't. I didn't come here just so I'm going to get bullied and yelled at. I could stay at my mama house. Like, now I got to call in my room. What? Like, what did that 500 uh, do? I'm not a child, bro. I don't even listen to that. Well, that man just mad. Like, he see me on the phone. Now he gets mad. 10 minutes later, I'm on the phone. Like, what? I know. Just chill. It's straight, though. I'm going to just shut up because when I start, I'm not going to stop, too. Call me out my name like that. Be for real. I, <clears throat> I cause no problem already a problem. I don't understand. I feel like I'm with my mom, bit. Like, no way I'm getting yelled at. I'm on the phone. Like, there's no way we just wake up and argue like this every day. That's what I'm saying. I didn't do nothing. That's the crazy part. I'm just sitting on the couch. I know, like, what? Now it's like I got to hang up while he around. No way. Even 1500 I could got my own shit. Even my mom told me. Better talk to him because I feel like it's honestly unfair. I'm going to talk to him. No way. I didn't do nothing at all. And he snapped on me like that. I'm on the phone. He calling a girl a hoe. She hangs up. This, that T T T T S. This is a comedy. Me and Jay went about the clip. Says that now. Mmm. Just mad, da da da, da. y'all boys should dead it, this and that. I told Wonder the same shit. I didn't move in. I didn't pay 1200 to get yelled at, beat, and told what to do. I could have stayed at my fucking mother house. I don't even mm. know my fucking daddy, and this nigga trying to act like my fucking daddy, bro. What the fuck, bro? And then on top of that, that is not crazy. only is this nigga telling me to get off the phone, I have to go through the nigga to invite guests, bro. I have to go through no, the that's nigga crazy. to invite guests. To a house, I'm paying 1200 a that's month, crazy. bro. Twelve hundred a month. I have to go to a nigga and ask him, please, can I invite someone over? It came to a point I had to lie to say this is my family member, just so to, so so just so a person could come over, bro. That's crazy. Like why the fuck I have to lie for someone to come over, bro? What the fuck, bro? But towards the end That's of that crazy. situation, he came to me, apologized. He said, "My bad, my fault, this and that." He admitted that he had anger issues, that he needed help, whatever. Woody woo. I forgave him, bro. Right. Whatever, bro. I deaded it. I just told the nigga, "Don't ever do shit like that again," because you're not my father, fam. Mm. But whatever. He apologized for that situation. As you said, boom. We moved on, whatever, cool. But then here comes a second reason, bro. This man Sid and Suave had a two man. The man Suave brought a two man, two girls to the crib so him and Sid could do whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they yeah. had a two man. Prior to that two man, they had end up switching. And then towards, during that situation, that's when Sid done cuffed the two men. Listen, I'm not gonna judge what a nigga do with a girl, but like I said again, it's just a two man. I don't. That's not. But listen to the story though. He I'm just cuffed letting the two men. Two men. If y'all did not realize who the girl was, this is the girl that I'm talking about. Came for Suave, but ended up with Sid. Is crazy. That is crazy. The girl named Kenzie. She was originally a, just a two man that was originally supposed to be for Suave, but it ended up as Sid, and they just. Magically got together. She started living with us out of nowhere the what next the week. Fuck? You get what I'm saying? I had no issues with the girl, nothing like that. I had no problem. She was living with us, boom, this and that. But then during the time she was living with us, that's when stuff was being found out about her. They were finding out she was doing like crazy drugs. She was recently oh, with just with the rapper before she even met with Sid. And she basically oh, they're just basically saying she just ran through like a whole bunch of niggas done got with her, right? The man said pulls me aside about the girl. And basically was telling me everything I just recently just told you about the drugs, about who she was just with, this mm. and that, how she's a whole, all types of Yo, stuff. Yo, lick the rapper. Lick the rapper. What should he do? And I told him, I said, listen, fam, you know who you are. You know what type of person you is. You know you should not be around these type of girls. The man That's told it. me himself that he was going to go inside and kick the girl out. I kid you not. 30 to 40 minutes later, the man just ends up cuddling with the girl. Like I said before, people, I don't care what a guy do with a girl, <laughs> but hey, that's just your business. This was started becoming the issue, though. We had a magic show video, right? Before the magician started, the ma magician came to me and said, listen, before I get started, I want you to tell everybody that's behind me to move away from me when I'm doing the magic tricks. I don't want nobody behind me when I do the magic tricks. Yeah. So I went to everybody that was behind him. 
when he was doing the match. I said, yo, before we get started, he don't want you behind you. I went to every different person. Then yeah. I went to her. I went to <clears> her. <throat> yeah. I literally said the same thing when I told everybody. I said, yo, he don't want nobody behind him when he does the magic trick. This girl starts being like, oh, my God, leave me alone. Why are you bothering me? Why are you coming to me and telling me I'm not going to listen to what you do? Like, starts being a spoiled brat out of nowhere, bro. Bro, start causing a whole scene. Then this nigga said, Mr. Captain save a <laughs> I want to save this girl. Like, oh, why are you bother her? This and that. Leave her alone. This and that. Get away from her. You don't even like her. You don't this and that. You said all types of things about her. I'm like, bro, what? Fam, you just met the bitch like two weeks ago. Now you all nah, right, you feel me? Say you it, just bro. came what? to me. Imagine you just came to me about the bitch, right? You told me about the bitch saying all this type of say stuff. It, about, bro. The, about to kick the bitch outside your house. Now all of a sudden you defending the bitch. That was the issue I started to have with him. He's defending this girl after talking so much shit behind her back about towards me finding all this shit about this girl, right? How she's ran through, how she does serious drugs, how she been with this and that much people. Say Yet you're what? protecting this girl, right? After just knowing So Missy, sit a hoe. So you 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 first of all you gonna cuff a thought. Like she a thought. She a thought, right? She a thought. And a druggie. And she was a two man for your man, not even for you. And you still somehow cuffed her. Then you gonna say you're gonna try and break up with her and kick her out. You end up cuddling with her, and, and now y'all just like these. You just protecting her and shit. Y'all met a week ago, two weeks ago? Bro, come on, Sid. Come on, bro. Knowing her for two weeks, bro. Come on, so bro. when she starts causing the commotion to sit, the man said did all that. Bro I, bro, I kid you not. When he started snapping on me about that, I didn't even snap on him. I said, you know what? I'm not going to go do this video. I walked up and got up. I went to my room, bro. Yeah. Because I'm like, bro, there's no way you're defending this after you just came to me about this bitch, right? Oh, uh, that's when Jeff and Suave came in my room and just like, Nate, just do the video, f all that bullshit, just knock out the video and this and that, feel me? So that's when I just went back downstairs and just continued to do the video. Bro, yeah. peep game in my face. I was so uncomfortable in the beginning of the video, bro. I was literally uncomfortable in the beginning of the video. That's how you know before the video, I was so uncomfortable. And peep game as well, notice how that's the last video of the channel, right? Oh shit! Not only I was uncomfortable with the video because what transpired before that, before the video even started. People, that's the last video, but I'm gonna get to that, right? So after when the video started, that's when the nigga said started talking like, "Oh, you doing all this and that? He had to do that, this and that, this and that. You wanna be a crybaby, this and that." So I, I started snapping at the nigga. I said, "Listen, bro, you bringing this into this house that we paying bills for? Yeah. You just met the you wanna yeah. be Captain Saber? Yeah. You just." We just got done talking shit about the bitch. just yeah. got done talking shit about the bitch. Now you protecting yeah. the bitch. Now you want to be all, all like, oh, you want to be Captain Saber. Da, da, da. Man, fuck you and fuck the bitch too. Yeah. I literally said that to their face. We started arguing. We was not talking to each other for like a couple of days in the house. That's when <clears> one day when everybody was at a crib, there was drinking this and that, having like a little getty whatever downstairs. That's when everybody was just like, yo, y'all boys should make up, da, 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 this and that. That's when he came to my room, knocked on my door. That's when he just forced himself through my door because I always keep my door locked. He was just like, listen, Nate, I'm sorry. I apologize, this and that. Let's not fall off, fall over about no bitch, about no hoe, this and that. But it's just like, bro, it took you now to realize that, bro? Like, after all Yeah, that's crazy. Passing, As a grown-ass man, too. Passing, he was still being petty. But the man, once again, he <clears> came to apologize. So he apologized for the situation that he tried to be my f***ing daddy. Now he apologized for the situation that he's trying to protect this girl. This is not saying this bros over right? So he apologized. Like I said, I ain't gonna hold a grudge, but I'm not gonna forget what the Type shit, as right? you should. Chat, listen. Forgive, but never forget. Simple. That went by, right? The you forgive, but never forget. Basically sums up why I stopped with bro. The third reason why, bro. Here's the third reason what happened that transpired prior to living with bro, right? So we had got a boat after a video date on shot, right? After the video, they said they were going to have a boat, okay? Everybody that was part of the crew was on the boat, and we had brought girls. I brought my own girl to the boat. Everyone else brought their own girls to the boat. Sid brought the same girl that, you know, feel me, that being Captain Sable to the same girl. Yeah. You feel me? To the boat, right? Fast forward, everybody vibing, chilling on the boat, whatever, this and that. 
The captain comes and get me and tells me, yo, your boy's tripping. At first, I don't even know what he's talking about, bro. The captain comes to me, the captain of the boat, say, yo, come get your boy, he's tripping. So I said, okay, uh, point me to where is that, okay, I'm walking over. The captain brings me to where the situation has happened, saying my boy's tripping, and he was talking, when I came to the situation, yeah. it was Sid, the girl, and the girl that I invited, they were all arguing. So I was trying to kind of confuse on what was going on, so I was trying to peep game was go what was going on, I was trying to peep game. Bro, the man said, prior to where I'm trying to listen to the argument and see like what the fuck is going on, the man said, lunges his hand towards the girl neck that I invited. He lunges oh, his hand towards shit. the girl neck. Bro, I kid you not, I started. Sid, Sid, Sid. So not only is you a hoe, but you a woman beater, bro? A woman assaulter? Really, bro? Other user? Sid, bro. And we just watched like a a, a, a W vid about you and everything. Damn. Now I wish we watched this before I watched that fucking... I probably wouldn't even have watched that shit, bro. Like, I, like it's like, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't fuck with shit like that, bro. Like, dead ass. Like, that. Like I'm not even trying to like, be funny right now. Like, dead ass, bro. When it comes to like, to like, like hitting women and do Like, bro. Hell no, nah, bro. Like, that's crazy, my nigga. Because, like, bro, come on, bro. Really? Like, you really finna crash out right now over a bitch that you met on a two-man? You know how down bad you... Like, Sid, bro, you know, like, you a good-looking nigga, you got money, you got motion, all type of shit. And you out here crashing out over a, a two-man, a little thotty? A two-man? That's a thought? Like, it's not like she just a regular-ass two-man bitch, like, oh, she just wanted a, the hus, like, like, like she just some random-ass bitch, right? Like, no, she's a thought, a well-known thought. Like a well known one. Niggas know about her. She's a cat. And you crashing out over her? A bitch you knew for two weeks? A drug? You gotta do better, bro. What is spasm, kid? You gotta do better. You're lunging your hand towards a girl that I invited? You putting your hands on a girl on top of that, fam? Right. Hell no, nah, fam. I started snapping. I started. I was about. I ain't gonna lie. I was about to just. You feel me? Because I'm just like, no way you just do that. Listen, people, I don't condone that bull. You feel me? As you, you should. Be my dog, you could be my close friend. You could be my brother, fam. What you not finna do is put no hands on no female. I don't Facts. condone that bull. I ain't on that shit. Facts. Listen, I know whatever happened transpired in the past with Sid and Diamond, and I'm not trying to bring Diamond into this, but you feel me? <clears throat> At the time when that situation had happened, I wasn't even around that, and I asked, bro. I said, listen, did you do it? Or yes or no? Bro told me no. So I'm just like, you know what? Whatever, bro. I wasn't there when that happened. I don't see it. But for me to witness this shit right in front of me in my fucking face, fam. That is crazy, yo, I bro. I was heated, fam. I was heated. Prior to me yelling at this nigga, this and that, bro, the man, all of a sudden, he was just passed out, drunk, started throwing up, this and that. But remind you, that don't give you an excuse to put your hands on the I don't girl. know. See, just because you I always had a feeling there was something off about Sid, bro. Just the way he be acting in his videos, especially with girls. Like, the way he be acting, I always felt like there was something off with him, bro. Like, I always just got a vibe, like, something about him was just, like, like weird or something. I don't know, bro. I always had, a like, just a, uh, like, an ick about, it was just always, like, an ick I had about him. I don't know, bro. Like, there was definitely times where he seemed cool and he was funny and, like, oh, like, you know, Sid probably cool as fuck, like, you know what I'm saying? But there was also a lot of times where I would just, like, there was just something about him that just was just so, like, just, uh, to me. Like, like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga, like? He's just weird, you know what I'm saying? Who drunk, whatever, this and that, bro. I just think it was just and weird. The girl, that, uh, he, the girl that I invited, she was so heated, bro. Like, she was just saying all types of crazy shit. She's gonna call police or, you feel me, or bring someone to handle said this and that. And I'm just trying to calm her down. But prior to me trying to calm her down, uh, other niggas that was on Sid's side, you feel me? D Rod and Sid was like, bro, it's nothing. Let her vibe out, bro. Everybody's just drunk. No, nigga. Hell no. Nah. Sober, kid. You feel me? This girl is sober, bro. Wait, them niggas was really defending him? I told you I hate that nigga Jay Wonder, bro. <laughs> like, them niggas was really defending him? Yo. So, not only is Sid a hoe ass nigga, but he got a bunch of hoe ass yes men around him. That just adds up to even worse shit. Like, that never you comes out me? good. So, whatever, the situation died down. The captain was just like, you That's, know what, just cool. Like, bro, no what? This is not police coming to the ball. Because already, we was already illegal anyway because we had too much 
people on the boat, so we can't even make it too hot, bro. You feel me? So probably after the boat situation, right? You feel me? The house was quiet, bro. The house was quiet after the boat situation. It was two days the house was quiet. Remind you, I barely be at the crib anyway because I'm handling my other business besides YouTube. I got a photography business, so I'm barely at the crib. So after yeah. two days, barely at the crib, I came back to the crib. Then the next I don't even know he, did, he, he had boat situation. He had that shit going on. came to me and told me, listen, bro, the <clears> reason why I did what I did is because... Oh, I felt like she was following from the last boat. I felt like she was following me. She was doing too much everywhere I go. She go this and that. So if if that, if that situation were to happen, I wouldn't even mind spitting on the girl. Fam, let me just stop y'all right there. Nigga, it's what? the fact that you knew what you did, and you're saying that you would do it again due to the fact that you felt like this girl was following you this and that on type. All types of shit, right? Fam, that's how sick it is. Bro, Mind what? You, I told y'all this nigga was drunk. But the nigga knew what the fuck he did, fam. You know what I'm saying? So when he told me that, it's like, I could have got into an argument with him. I just started laughing. I was just like, you're unbelievable, bro. No way you're fucking telling me this. Like, you're saying like... Nah, oh, that is crazy. I slap the... I don't give a fuck. Bro, what? Shit, what? Un unbelievable, kid. After that situation, I just went ghost, bro. I'm basically living in a house, just paying rent, and avoiding these niggas at this point. Because it's just like, bro... I'm done with the bullshit, fam. See, I told nope. you, bro. Like, this is why I feel like to do this. Like, it's internet shit with these niggas, bro. Because these niggas, like, on the internet, they might seem cool. But you never know what who, like, like who they really are. Like, you really never know, bro. You never really know what type of people they is, bro. That's why I say you can't, you can't be fucking with internet niggas sometimes, bro. Number one, you try to act like my f***ing daddy. Number two, you trying to protect the bitch that you just was talking shit about me with. This and that. Now you being Captain Sable. About to talk towards me now. You want to protect the girl off of a tool man off of mm. another nigga face. She was about to have sex with our, an, another one of our homeboys, but y'all switch off a tool man. You're protecting that's crazy, by the way. That. That's crazy. Third, taking your man's two man, like taking that's already crazy in itself, but then cuffing the two man and then crashing out over a two man. Come on, bro. Putting your Come hands on, on bro. females that I know, like what, nigga? Like, bro, I'm just done with this, shit, fam. So you know what? I'm just here, just paying the bills, living, doing a. I would have been moved out. Fuck them bills, day, bro. You not finna phase me about getting this money and this group. Shit, this shit out of control in the first place, cause it's. But like I said, I could get so deep into the group. Shit. Right now, it's on. Right now, it's about you. Bro. Oh shit! I'm gonna I'm say. Oh, there's more. Another video. Oh, there's more. I'm okay. break that down perfect. <laughs> right shit. now, it's about you, bro. So prior to when I'm not talking, this and that, I'm just vibing. Like I'm barely, I'm in and out the house, barely even sleeping there. Whatever. Yeah. Fun, these niggas stop talking to these niggas because I just need to break from these niggas. Tight. Right? Yeah. Touch it. Remind you, I'm still paying rent, bro. So that's when the month of May came in, bro. I'm talking about we're two weeks in. I already paid my twelve hundred, bro. I paid my twelve hundred. I'm barely there, you feel me? Most, all my stuff is there, but I'm paying, you feel me? Bro, the middle of the month, the man puts me in the group chat, right? The man puts me in the group chat and basically was like, by the, towards the end of this, the month that I just recently paid for, May, towards the end of this month, everybody have to move out. I just broke the lease. Everybody get out, do what you gotta do, go find your own place to stay, this and that. I canceled the lease, fam. Bro, what? Fam! I just paid you fucking rent, and now you're telling me you're canceling the lease, bro? What? How did you even came up with that idea, bro? What? At one point, you could have came ain't, to me as a Ain't even talked to nobody listen, about it? Bro. I'm about to cancel the lease because I felt like we this and that. Like, you just did this shit out of being petty, out of spite. Now, not only you fucking with me, you fucking with my money, fam. That's what you really got me fucked up at, bro. I pay, I pay this man 1200 bro. 1200 yeah. bro. Remind you, when I'm paying this man, I don't even know how much the bills are. I don't know how much. I don't see the mm. no type of... Never showed me any paperwork, nor did I sign any contract. Paperwork, because everything's under this man's name. I didn't even sign no contract to even live with, bro. Bro just said, come move in. I paid the cheese. When money was due, paid. Simple. But it's the fact that you... Broke the lease. I thought I paid you two weeks later. You want to break the lease, bro? You talking about towards the end of the month? It's time to everybody get out, bro. That's what you really got me up at. So when he did that, I kind of told bro, I said, listen, bro, 
whatever you got going on, whatever type of beef you have towards me, this and that, whatever type of hate you have, yeah. keep that shit P, let me know, bro. You got to let me know about this shit. And on top of that, you owe me money then. Because I'm not going to pay for a month. I have to move out. Imagine you pay rent, then you have to move out. Who in the fuck pays rent to move out? You size me. That's dude. facts. That's so facts. Listen, bro. I told the man, you owe me money, fam. You owe me 1200 The man said, I lost money too part of this. So, uh, you not getting your money back. Oh, nah. He, well, yeah, you was robbed. This yeah, you was robbed. Yeah, you was robbed. I said, you know what, bro? That nigga scammed you. Bet, bro. I ain't really pressed about it, this and that. I said, you know what? It, but at the time, when he, as soon as he told me that, I came to a realization. I was just like, bro, listen. You know what? It makes a lot of sense, bro. F*** this nigga, bro. At that point, I already automatically put my head f*** this nigga. He done sized me. He tried to treat me like a f***ing daddy. The nigga put a hold... Holes over bros of a two man off of a random bitch that was about to have sex with Suave. And on top of that, you put your hands on my homegirl, fam. That I can't forgive you about that, from You thought yeah. that shit slide, bro? No, that's crazy. That's the craziest one. one. Bro. That's the craziest one. So I said bet, bro. After that, bro. It don't even matter if you was my homegirl or not. Just the fact that you was about to put your hands on a woman in general. You lost me, my nigga. You, and then you knew what you did, and you not even, like, feeling bad about it. Like, you just said, I would do that shit again and spit on her. You lost me, my nigga. I was just like, you know what? Automatically, I just had started planning to just moving out, bro, to the other uh, crib. This is where the man really got me more f***ed up, right? Remind you, he put me in a group chat to move out. He puts me in a group chat to move out towards the end of the, the month. Like, basically, by June 1st, we supposed to be move out. Texas three days later said, listen, by May, like, 25th, like, early, he basically pushed the date earlier to move out. Y'all got to get y'all shit out. June 1st, we to be more petty and said May 25th. Not even towards the end of the, the month. It's like he shifted the date. Now, I have literally four days to fucking move out, bro. After he said that, bro, it's just, I got heated because why the fuck the date done change from the end of the month to now earlier? Now, I have to speed up my process. I have to spend cheese. I got to find time to take all my shit. After I just paid rent, bro, money don't just come out my fucking ass. Money don't grow on trees. I'm not a rich nigga, but it's like money's not being played with and unnecessary, unnecessary money was being spent. Because literally when you have yeah. your mindset on what your bills are laid out, what you're about to pay and this and that, it's like on what you're about to invest. It's like, okay, I know what this month comes. But out of nowhere, all this random shit comes due to the fact this nigga want to be petty, fam. So, bro, I started snapping on, bro, through text. And then prior to when we were arguing, the nigga talking about something he made me, bro. So I'm like, bro, oh, what the damn. you made? Now you got me really fucked up. So then to a point where we was arguing so much. I'm not going to say he made you, but like, the first time I saw you was in a King Sid video. I'm not going to say he made you, though. That's crazy. I think when you say you made somebody, but there's isn't like... But like the first time I did see you, it wasn't a king. I'm not trying to defend King Sid, cause it's, it's fuck that nigga. Yeah, fuck that nigga. Yeah, fuck that nigga. But I'm just saying. I'm just trying to play. Just I'm trying to see things from both sides here. Just saying. Through text, the man dropped this addy. He was at my bar room. <clears throat> I pulled up quick. Yeah. I pulled up with my boy. Oh, he was saying I'm I Went over there. Long story short, we just ended up fighting, bro. Probably oh. when we fight, I basically got jumped because I literally pinned this nigga down and then this nigga Wonder came out of nowhere and started hitting me in the head, bro. Like, trying to knock me off this nigga. Bro, remind you, all I did was pin the nigga Sid down. This I knew. is a me and Sid argument. I knew I didn't like Jay Wonder, bro. I knew it was fucked that nigga. See, I knew there was something about him, too, that I didn't like, bro. This is just something about all them niggas. This nigga Wonder come out of nowhere talking about some Get off the Sid! Get off the Sid! Get off the Sid! After that situation happened, called my homeboy Jeff, who's part of the group as well. Yeah. Basically, I called him, let him know what happened. Basically, Jeff was just like, bro, what the f***, bro? We all homeboys. Y'all should get y'all one-on-one. We shouldn't be jumping. We went to go get Jeff. We pulled up to the f gas station because they were still there right next to the barbershop. We pulled up, and Jeff hopped out the car saying, yo, listen, I know we we are going to this and that, but we got serious? something like, man, know that jumping shit. Everybody get their one-on-ones. Yeah. To make a long story short, the nigga says spits on Jeff, then took took off, bro. Oh. Right there. Gas station security camera of the night. Me and Sid fall. Video shows Jeff walking up to Sid to confront him.
I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. See, I'm in a sh see, I'm in a nigga phase. Look at this shit, bro. I can't see shit that's happening. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Oh, I'm trying to go in this shit. Hey, what, what the other camera at for, uh, what other camera at for right here? Run it back a little bit, run it back. You see what I'm talking about? You see how the camera right here? Like, what are you for this one now? You see me? <laughs> I feel, look, he hiding, whoa. He hiding the whole time, see? Yeah. He hiding in the car, whoa. Now, look, 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 look. Look at this one, EJ, look. I'm gonna flinch at his, uh, See? See, I flinch again. I'm trying to hit his ass. Then he spit on me. You see that? You see what happened? You see how he ran out? That nigga oh, spit on him. Go with the camera, Go with the camera, We need to get this camera right <laughs> That nigga spit on him? Oh. Is that the you bitch? Got him? Yeah. Oh, you got him? You got him? The girl came and got him, they scared. They scared, oh my god, they scared. Yeah, that camera. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just watch, 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 watch. I don't know what the fuck going on, but like, I'm not. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm here for it, high shit. Shit, about to shake. I think I'm about there right now, ain't it? Oh yeah, they hear, they hear people this shit, yeah. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Who the fuck are these niggas? Fuck niggas, spit on me. Look, he right there, he's standing on top of the car. Oh, okay, I see him, I see him. Just standing on top of the car. Ah! Yo, put that, nigga, that you Hey, Ain't no way he just started hiding. Shit, Ain't no way he just started hiding behind them. Those are just random ass niggas that he just started hiding behind. Oh, nah. Sid. Nigga, instead of on top of the car, I just showed y'all boys I'm flinching at his ass, ain't it? I'm flinching at his ass. Look. He talking big shit behind them boys. Look, who you think he is? Now he's still talking. Get on top of the car again. I'm right there. See, spit on me. I'm right there in the middle. You see me? Oh, uh, a nigga spitting on you is crazy. Oh, Sid, you're a bitch. Oh, Sid, you're a bitch. You're a bitch. Yo, Sid, you're a bitch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. I'm not gonna lie, you're a bitch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. Just being honest, bro. I'm gonna keep it up, bro. I said you're a bitch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. That's crazy. After that situation, bro. All I knew automatically <clears throat> in my head, I have to go get my shit, bro. Because you know when niggas are mad, they want to do petty shit towards the house. What a convenience. I was so right. Because when I went to the crib, already half of my stuff is outside, bro. Imagine you pay $1,200 and these niggas are moving your shit outside the, the house. Imagine you paying $1,200 and that's, that's not surprising. I don't even live there moving my shit, fam. Because all y'all want to ride sit. On top of that, price when I was moving my stuff, because they, they they like they know Sid got the motion, he got the money, he can put them on. So like, they want to be on his dick so that they that Sid can fuck with them, so they can be in Sid videos, so that they get more. You know what I'm saying? So whole, just just some regular internet shit. You know what I'm saying? Some lame ass internet shit type shit. You feel me? Jade was throwing my stuff down the stairs, and then I'm yelling at the girl saying, "Don't throw my stuff!" And then she slaps me, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I blacked out. But I did not touch her, bro. But you know what, Jay? It's straight, though, bro. It's straight. I get it, bro. All you do is cook and these niggas, bro. And you know what's crazy, too, about you? Well, I could get on you. But the crazy thing is about you is you're in a group that you already have sex with two niggas. Mm -hmm. And you're telling the, the internet that y'all brothers. 
Out of seven members, she already been with two. Suave and Jay Wonder. Oh shit! You're, 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 we're not your Rat little sister. These niggas are not your brothers. You're having sex. Big brothers that get her what she wants. Oh, so they be tricking her. Oh. <laughs> oh, so so they be tricking her type shit. They they tricks. They tricks. They be buying her shit, then she be fucking them. All right. They tricked, they they pussy whipped, whatever you want to call it, type shit. With them. And you're living with wonder. Be for real with yourself. I heard you have a nigga in jail. I hope he sees this. Be for real with yourself. <laughs> That's my slap to you. Hm. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> Y'all about to say that reminded me of so. <laughs> I was say that shit reminded me of so. I'm not laughing. <laughs> That is After crazy. That I literally had to lie and basically say, "Oh, I'm bringing police. I'm bringing my mom for to stop these niggas from." Uh, bet I got cat. I'm getting my stuff right now. The police him. Uh, my mom with me. That's it. Not finna die behind none of this. You a hoe. I told you we not fighting, and you try to show out. I've been told you, boy. You just a crash out dummy. Put up on me. Got your ass smacked. Now you fear for your life. You a hoe. That's what happens when you try to show out. I'm gonna get my stuff and go. That's it. He's coming just so that they don't throw away my stuff. So how is Nate a hoe and he's the one crashing out when he beats you, pins you down, you had Jay Wonder had to hop in just to stop him from beating your ass and then you spit on your mans and then not even fight him. You hide behind random ass niggas. And you crashing out on your mans that you knew since high school. You crashing out on your mans over a bitch that you met a couple weeks ago that was just a two man who didn't even come to the two man for you. He came for your other. She fucked two of your other mans. She already fucked two of them. And now she on you, but you cuffed her. But she like a local thought. Everybody that has some, she been around the block. Hey shit. Okay. Hey shit. Okay, shit. Okay. On all my shit because, <clears throat> bro, I have a lot of shit and I can't move all that shit one night. I have to buy a truck, all this, and I have to lie to these niggas so they won't touch my shit. I had to say police about to come, this and that, bro. But to make a long story short, did, bro, Sid, you got too much pride, bro. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you, fam, but you tried me, fam. You tried me. You fuck with my money. You my intelligence and you the type of nigga that just can't take no bro sometimes when i tell you no you just act like a how the fuck don't sit there and tell me about myself but when i tell you about yourself you get mad fam mm. it's like you make it seem like i'm a hater fam it's crazy how you make me seem like a hater but all my times i've always been there to help you like that time with that diamond situation like i said i ain't trying to bring that diamond situation but let's talk about it what right happened now, with fam? diamond i don't remember that fam I, when you was making that truth video, when the whole world was against you, when all the world thought you did a domestic violence, you abused that girl, oh. you choked that girl, oh. I was behind that camera telling you what to say, word for word, bar for bar, nigga. Whatever you said was my bars. Whatever you said it was me, I was behind that camera. When you went to court to fight the case with the girl, Oh. When you brought your lawyer, you called me to defend you. What the fuck I did? I got up and defend you, nigga, like a real ass nigga, like I should. And you know what's crazy too? When when we went, when we all went to jail for that video that you did with the coke prank, right? It's your idea. We called the coke police like nine times price. before I called. You was begging me to. Did not offer anything after she had to handle the law after. They did a coke prank on the cops. Call. Eventually, I did it. I helped you. Helped you made a successful video because it had one million views and all you did was bonded me out. But then you looked at me and said, oh, you got to get your own lawyer. You got to pay your own court fees after that. I had to do this probation shit for one year. I was restricted for so much shit, fam, because of you, bro. Oh, shit. Now I'm off the probation shit, bro. Facts. I'm done. I'm off. And you're still on it. I had to thug it out. Bro, they even came to me to tell me to snitch on you, nigga. They came to me and tell me to snitch on you, nigga. And what the fuck I did, I told him, no, I'm going to ride this shit out for one fucking year, bro. This nigga had probation. They would have came to you, locked you up, and basically you had to fight the fucking case, bro. That's how it was going to go down, bro. 
You, I bet you didn't know that, bro. Over it's crazy how I still remain solid after all the bullshit. Who the f what? Whose idea was to do a coke prank on cop? What the fuck type of video idea is that? Like, I mean, that that's views. That is views. But, like, that's so dumb. That is literally dumb as fuck. What you put me through, bro? Yo, what's good? That's crazy, bro. That's real fucking crazy, bro. Listen, people. Once again, bro, don't associate me with that Steve sh And don't associate me with that nigga Sid, bro. I'm done with that nigga, fam. Right, I'll get on it later. I'll get on That's it later. That's crazy. I ain't even talk about the Steve's channel yet. I'm going to get to it, though. Trust me. I'm going to get to it. Trust me, bro. Are oh, we finna get to it. This is not over yet. Are we getting Your to it? Your time is coming. This is my... Oh, shit. There's more. I God damn. All right. Um, I hate going to the media about stuff because that shit cringes fuck to me. But you ain't gonna lie on me. And again, especially a nigga that don't know how to respect a female. Anytime they mad and hit them or choke them because they don't like what you saying to them. Literally dealt with shit the past few months along with other issues. So of course I'm gonna leave. No one should have to go through shit like that every day dealing with some somebody else's major anger issues i'm just glad that shit ain't last any longer y'all gonna say what y'all want i don't care but i know what happens behind closed doors y'all see what's on camera i broke up with her this shit sad literally i left and he begged me not to go the fame shit so annoying do shit for more views damn my most favorite part about this video bro because after everything that went down the girl and sid ends up breaking up and she so gets bitch. on instagram and exposes the man for so the bitch that you was crashing out over the two man little thotty thot thot that that you was crashing out over who fucked your man who had niggas and rappers all on her body that she was tricking out her mind all the time she broke up with you with you she she broke up with you bro and exposed you for being an abuser and then you gonna try and lie and say you broke up with her herself nigga what what ladies and gentlemen abusing and mistreating her Sid. that is so crazy the girl that you end up protecting ends up Sid. exposing you for mistreating you're her and abusing wildin her. bro go fucking figure wow Sid, you're wildin gang and she was not my gang. Well, we got the part two right here. <laughs> so like I said, we on timing. We got the part two right here. You thought I was done. I'm not even close to finishing yet, bro. Yeah. I'm not close to finishing yet, bro. Type shit. Listen, bro. You probably hear from the last video I just basically explained how much of a nigga this yeah. nigga Sid is. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Let me tell you how much more of a nigga this nigga said really is. Talk to me, bro. talk now, to me. let me talk about this Steez group. Basically, the whole point of us having this Steez group was basically like another AMP, right? We right, right. A bunch of lit niggas having fun, you know, like turning up and shit like that. You feel me? We're supposed to be a bunch of lit niggas like a you group, know, having group, fun a turning group, up. Group of content feel creators, you know, all yeah. All types of creators, feel me? And at the time when the idea was presented to me because it was Sid's idea, he was basically like, yo, let's make a group, call it Steez. Whatever this and that, and you feel me, be the next big thing, makes big group, right? But right. what's crazy about this group is that the word Steez originally came from Call a Kid, right? Call a Kid. Yeah, he used to, he said that shit all the time. Really know him like that. Number one, the first time I met Call a Kid was when I first was like when he first started doing YouTube back then. You feel me? But remind you, people, that was probably my first and my last time ever seeing Call a Kid until now, like. 2022 going to 2023 that's when like he started being around more you know what i'm saying and then he started being around sid and then he you know he'll say like weird saying to a point like he'll just say steez and then we all started saying steez but this nigga sid decided to take this this saying and making it to a group right right this man makes it to a group gather all us niggas around me wonder jeff suave and call a kid and made it turn into St steez a steez group basically what's crazy about it is prior to when we we're doing steez and all that shit all that steez is under his name sid's name fam the man took call a kid saying it turned to his brand the whole steez is under sid whatever money we made nah, it went crazy. straight to his pockets bro the crazy thing is about it is the nigga said told me that this channel was basically was made for us of paying the rent for the steez crib 
Yeah. Because he basically said the crib is our crib. It's everybody crib. That's part of Steve's. But how the fuck you're making money off of this channel and I'm still paying $1,200 a month still? I'm still paying rent. Yeah, that is crazy. Regular fucking pedestrian, a regular human that I was living there, bro. He turned the brand, another nigga name into a brand and put it under his name, everything. So, like, all call, call a kid didn't care? Like, he, he was fine with that? Like, what the fuck? I actually don't be seeing him in the videos like that no more. So maybe he, maybe he like he dipped too type shit. You see it straight to him. The uh, account he knows the password. Only he knows the password. This and that. How we a group and only one nigga controls, bro. Your base like what? I don't know how this group shit work, but I'm pretty sure all of us supposed to be in on it. If we made an LSC supposed to be on a separate account, a separate check, everything. The money goes straight to your pockets, and it never paid no bills in the house, not once, fam. Not once, bro. So this is my message to oh, Call damn. Kid, right? And what's crazy, you let this nigga take your brand, your name, your saying into a brand that you don't even get money off of. And this, you're part of this group that's because of due to your saying. And on top of that, you be deriding this man, bro. Oh, shit. He did. Oh, damn. When this man would try to kick you out of the group. He called your girl a in front of your face. And this man will always disrespect you. And then you will come looking at us for advice, bro. The man will literally size you, play on your name, and downplay you like a dog. And he's using your brand, bro. He make so everybody in this shit just a bunch of hot white niggas. God damn, bro. I thought I was about to say I thought Call the Kid left on some shit because I feel like he don't be in the videos. I actually know he was in that mansion video, so I guess I'm lying. He wasn't one of the mansion videos, so never mind. Damn, bro. They want to hear every video. You know, that nigga be all sitting dick crazy. Damn, bruh. I haven't seen Suave, though. Where's Suave been? I think Suave, he might have left. I don't know, bruh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't be keeping up with them type shit. This is crazy, though. See, bro? So I'm saying this internet shit, bro. Making money off your brand. Your internet shit. trying to kick you out. He just basically took it and made a brand, bro. Notice how the magician shit was the last video that we did bro because you know shit wasn't right bro everything he literally told Kala kid anything steve that he made take it off because he felt like Kala kid was ruining the brand like this man Kala kid had a youtube channel called the steve's channel the steve's family the man said literally called this man Kala kid and said yo take that shit down you're ruining the brand Oh no. Nah. This man said to control of everything, fam. We did not see nothing, bro. All that shit went to his pockets. How the f we a group? And it went, it's going to your pockets. We're basically f monkey cartoon f characters dancing like f like goofballs. Call it kid, you should be ashamed of yourself, fam, <laughs> for letting that happen to still be sliding with this man, riding with this man. And I understand you're That's only 19, but this is me talking to you now. Fuck. This nigga's 19? What the fuck? I thought he was way older than that. I said, bro, if you're watching it, this is me talking to you as a as a Haitian man, bro. You let a, a, a Mexican zold you, bro. How the f a zold get zold, bro? You let a Chico zold you, bro. And if y'all don't know what zold mean, you basically let a nigga hold you. Steal you out your money. Rob you out your pockets. Took your brand and everything. Everything Steez is not yours. This nigga said even named his dog Steezy, bro. <laughs> He took everything from you, bro. Oh my I'm god. Y'all sure not even friends no more. Y'all don't even follow each other, bro. It makes so much sense because you're finally oh, not realizing it. And I'm glad you are. This man literally took a brand off another nigga saying, made it to his own brand, turned to his own LSC. He's getting all the money in the world. And to this day, he still has this channel up, making whatever cheese is making. And you know what's crazy about it? Since May. If you look at the channel. And you look at the banner, it's not even none of us that's there. None of us who started is not there. This nigga even changed the banner and put another nigga there that never was even part of it. I'm talking yeah, about that, you, that, Pete. Yeah, that you nigga. put a nigga named Pete so ugly. I'm Nate so ugly. You're basically trying to replace me for another nigga that's inspired by me. And what's crazy about it, Pete, Literally. you unfollowed me. Due to the fact that you was hanging out with bro. Listen, I understand how that goes. Bro's gonna feed you some bullshit, whatever, this and that. Or maybe you just- He is one ugly spike. ass nigga that's too. That's crazy, because I just wished you happy birthday recently, and two days later, you just unfollowed me. Um, I pray for the first one. Yeah, birthday, bro, more love to you. 
Well, she says, I'm happy to see you grow amazing. Thank you. Be safe today for real. No drink is still underage. Bet I won't. You feel me? Damn. I ain't gonna lie. Listen to me, bro. As a real nigga, you're Don't not gonna grow issue. under yeah, that yeah, nigga. Follow me. Notice your best views see. is with that nigga. He's basically trying to make you feel good. Grow on, on your own. Facts. Don't become bro. Bro is trying to us. He already damn near us telling us to dance like monkeys while he's creating this channel. We basically did. That's why that, that that channel, that magician shit was the last video, fam. It was the last video. This be happening with so many YouTube groups, bro. Like, sick, they always bro. got, like, behind scene beef. You are beef. one sick man, fam. It's, that's why it's so, it's like, like, rare to see, like, YouTube groups and shit really, like, because that's why it's, like, never, like, it's not that many either anymore. Like, I feel like all groups got beef where they just fall out. Like, FaZe, like, them niggas, them niggas have both. Them niggas fell off and they had beef. Um, um... I think Sidemen and and AMP is the only ones that's good. Like, I don't really know any other YouTube groups that's really popping that's like locked in. Cause then it was um, what's that? What's the group called with fucking LSK and fucking Cash Nasty and Jetser and I forgot the name of the group. But them niggas like then they they had both beef and they fell out and shit like that. I mean I know some of them I think is still cool, but they they not a group no more. It's crazy. Use us. To manipulate us, to make you think that this shit was a group, the group is grouping. It's sad, it's really. For you, we're just puppets in your mind games. This is not even a f group, cause I'm pretty sure groups don't do this. Too hype, too hype. You want to take control of everything, bro. Unless, unless and they did, I don't know. I don't really be seeing videos. Actually, no, I think they still good. But they had beef with they. They had like some issue with that one nigga. Uh, 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 whatever his name was, I forgot his name. But they had like some problem with him or some shit. Or maybe he just left the group. I don't remember. You got niggas around you that's D riding you, fam. Bro, you got real niggas like us that grew up with you that's telling you no. But you want niggas to be around you that's telling you yes. That's your f problem. Yeah, he, he need yes, that's man. That's so f sad. Those are niggas you don't want to be around, bro. Like you never just looked in the mirror and see how sad you are, fam. You took another nigga's brand. I gotta I got keep repeating this shit because that's how fing sad it is, bro. He took another nigga's brand, bro. Another nigga saying, only Call the Kid was saying Steez at the time, right? He took his brand. He made it to a group. He LLC the shit. The shit's under his fucking name. Only said, guess the cheese, everything. The nigga said, basically, took everything that's part of Steez. The YouTube channel said, that's only crazy. he knows the password. The Instagram, he gave us password to the Instagram, but he still took control of that. Everything. The man want to be a dictator. He's on that dictator shit shit. And then on top of that, prior to when he's creating a group, he's trying to kick you out. Every time he, at times when he don't like, when you do little certain shit, he takes it for like, I don't need you in my group. He literally told you he don't fucking want you. Oh, at times, wow. he tried to kick you out. He called you at a time when you was with your girlfriend in front of your face. And what oh did you my do? God. You still ride along with him. You still tag along with him. Fam, nah, y'all some bitch ass niggas. I can't lie. Unbelievable. Y'all some bitch ass niggas, bro. I can't lie. dare you? Like, y'all ain't got no morals, no, like, nothing, bro. Like, as a man, y'all gonna let this nigga bitch y'all like this and just keep it pushing? Is yeah, that's it. <laughs> Let's go shoot another find your match. Like, what the fuck, bro? Like, nothing? I'm, I'm sad for you to let another man walk over you like that, bro. Don't make this man feel he walk like over me too. Dog. He's a human just like you, my nigga. You just got to realize all this Hey, shit, bro. That's he might have walked over, but at least you had at some point, like, was like, I right, nah. Like, you put your foot down at some point. You know what I'm saying? I can get it at first. You know what I'm saying? Like, this your nigga. Like, you got to think. From his point of view, you got to think, right? This is his best friend since he knew since high school. That's like randomly out of nowhere starting to act like this. You gonna give your your man some chances. It's like, bro, this is my nigga. Like we like family at this point. Like you know what I'm saying. So you gonna give that nigga like, all right, bro. Like he walling out, but you know what I'm saying. Let's, you know what I'm saying. Like you feel me. Let's see how things keep going. He wild out again. You like, yo. You know what I'm saying. He come back, apologize, all type of shit. You're like, all right, cool. Like I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna remember though. Like I'm gonna forgive, but never forget. Like I said. Forgive but never forget. Then some more shit happened. He started crashing out. Then it's like, alright, now nah, I gotta put my foot down now. Now it was you, you 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 know what I'm saying? So at least at least he put his foot down at some point. Cause you got like like cause I would get like if it was my one of my best friends since I knew since high school doing some shit like this, like I would give the nigga some chances. Like I'd be like, alright, bro, like we can like yo, like 
like we're gonna address the situation and we can move past. It happened again, we're gonna address the situation, then we can move. But if you just keep like at some point, you're gonna put your foot down. Behind this shit, whatever, whatever it is, bro. Live in the world like, you don't respect. want to, but you have to. Have respect for your self, bro. Have respect for yourself, bro. This is me talking to you, bro. This is the truth, fam. This Steve's group was this group. All this shit was right Rats. under this nigga. He basically took everything, bro. And we was fucking puppets. All these ideas. Notice these ideas are his ideas. A smash or a pass. The only fucking video that was probably unique and we all came up with is when we was trying to make make money for a dollar. Other than that, it's still I mean, his it's ideas, fam. Even the magician shit was hot, his idea. Notice the majority of the videos was still <clears throat> his ideas. The smash or pass. The find your match. It's still high de his ideas. It just converted to his channel. Doesn't that make so much sense? How the f we create a group and we're still doing the same shit what another nigga's doing on his channel, fam? That is crazy. How I can't lie. We create a group and we're still that's doing crazy. the same shit. On the real question is, why are we still allowing these videos to work? That's what we. That's what we really got. Think like, why are we like? It's content. It's entertaining. Yeah, but like, come on, like nigga, he's in 2023. Why the fuck is find your match videos and blind date videos and all, like in smash or pass videos and shit like bro, like what we got like bro? Why are these still working in twenty twenty three, my nigga? We've seen so many like so much creative content come out over the years and we're still giving these niggas views for these these twenty eighteen twenty seventeen as video ideas, not even ideas, just videos, bro. They're not even video ideas, nigga. They've been doing them for years. Ain't nothing creative about it. Like, why are these videos like? I mean, if it, if it, if, like I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But god damn, like a nigga can really start his YouTube channel. Bam, do a twenty v one, do a blind date, do a fucking smasher pass fire match, and bam, he's blowing up. Just because of how many niggas watch those, and it's kind of sad, bro. Like these videos should not be popping off like that no more, bro. It is twenty twenty three. Like them just just played out. This ain't no 2017, 2018 no more, my nigga. Come up with something new. The only creative idea Sid has is like, the mansion videos are fire. I will give him that. That's a little bit creative. I, I do like that. That's a little bit more creative. Okay, at least he put like a little spin to it. It's more like, it's like a reality TV thing. And then when he does the the, the boxing, though, the one-on-ones, that's also fire. But then, but like, it was just like so rare. Like, for the most part, he does the fire match, smash or pass, truth or dare. Like, what? The, like, nigga. God damn. What he's doing on his last channel. It's like, we're, we're, we're just based on King Sid Part 2. You should have just named that shit, bro. That's fucking crazy, bro. That's fucking crazy, bro. But, hey, Sid, bro. You know what you're doing. Mm. It has to stop mm. immediately, fam. You're done. Yeah, King said, you, you, you're you done, buddy. But let's see what King said got to say. Touch it. Uh -huh. All right, so. Uh -huh. Touch it. All right, so. Okay, uh, okay. I'm waking up to a whole bunch of comments and, and tags, and I'm fake, and I'm gay, and. A whole bunch of shit, so you know why this video right here is just me responding to you could know that a little bit real quick Responding to what I've seen. I haven't seen no videos. I've seen a vi videos posted about me But this is just me telling y'all my side of the story of, of, of what happened. Why you keep looking over there, bro? Why you keep looking everywhere else but the camera you reading something? My fault, my fault. I get out. I'm just I'm just I'm just really peeping because you got peep his mannerisms and everything that he doing because you really got to see if this is really genuine and I mean, it really don't matter what he said. You're done, buddy. You're exposed. Like it's it's, it's GG's for you. You're you're done. This is the evisceration of King Sid. You're finished. You feel me? But let's just see what you guys say. And I'm not saying nothing. Um, responding to nobody, no nothing. I'm telling y'all my side of the story, so y'all can see it through how I see it. Right, right, right. I stop being friends with. Certain but listen, I do like to see both sides of the story, though. I am that type of person, like a little devil's advocate. I, I think I feel like it, it's always right to understand both sides because there's always two sides to every story. You know what I'm saying? So I do like to see the other side, but let's. But you know what I'm saying? There's always one right side. We're not gonna see it like this. There's two but sides, but one's the right one. So, first of all, this is how I want to start off. Of. 
they saying I'm gay, everything, they posting a, a TikTok, for, for, for y'all to understand what that is, they posting a TikTok that I did with my ex-girlfriend that I posted. I was trying to go viral when I was younger. I shouldn't have done that TikTok, but it was a flip it TikTok switch, a flip it thing that was going viral with a whole bunch of creators. I did it with my ex. You can see the video. You see it. My ex was right there. Now, you know I ain't gay. Now, we don't know that. Right? Bring that up. We don't know that. Us, stop being friends. Stop. It happened over a girl. So, of course, <clears throat> you know I'm not gay. You're trying to make me look bad. That's how y'all started this whole thing off to make me look bad. Plus, we been stopped being friends months ago, months ago. And now y'all bringing this back up when I'm doing my own thing. Like, no, nah, hell no, nah, we're not going to do that. So, this all started over a girl, bro. And this, th you should never end up your friendships over a girl. But let me tell you how. That's how y'all friendships. brought over a girl, uh, to, uh, a girl to the last crib, the Steve's crib. It was like 4 a.m. He brought her over and she came with a friend. Now, that girl's name is Kenzie. Now, if you've seen me or you know my history, Kenzie's the, like, one of the last girls I talked to. The girl, the, the girl on the vlog channel, I said my ex, this and that. I mean, not my ex, my, uh, my, my girlfriend. So this is what happened with this story right here. Suave brought her over for him, right? And she came with a, a, a girl. The, it, was a, it was a white girl, right? She, 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 her name was, I don't know what her name was. Lydia. Her name was Lydia. Yeah, yeah, her name was Lydia. So Lydia. What's looking like, gang? Why are you keep looking to the side like you're trying to like read something or something? Just people, you know what I'm saying? We kept, um, what's it called? We we played true for dare. Lydia goes ahead and, and she was daring Kenzie. Like, you sound very, you, you, you sound you sound real you sound real you sound real nervous right now, Sid. Like what's wrong? Like why you sound so nervous? You sound so shaky. You sound so unsure in your words and your speech. He reading a script. I feel like he is reading a script. You know you don't sound so confident in your speech right now. Suave on the cheeks. I dare you to. But Kenzie wasn't going for none of that. So then we keep playing, we keep playing. Then she dared her to do one more thing. So what Kenzie did was she went to the bathroom and when she came back, she sat across. When she sat across, I'm like, oh shit. She's not interested in Suave. I said that in my head. So what I did, I texted Suave. I said, yo, let me get right. And I seen her cat looking at me. Now I'm telling y'all, I swear to God on my mama, on my dad, I'm telling y'all every single detail right now. I'm not lying about nothing. I'm mm. telling y'all the truth right now. Mm. So boom, fast forward. She was into me. That same night, I greased. I greased the same night, right? Now, I'm not trying to Nigga, talk, mama, talk about none of this. I'm not trying to tell me. I got to tell y'all my side of the story. End up greasing that night. Now, look. What the fuck is you stomping for? Did he not switch the papers in time for you type shit? Is that why you were stomping? Because he, like, switched the papers for you to read? I just broke up with my ex. I am a lover boy, fam. Okay, listen. Well, it hit me hard. Okay, now right. she over here, this and that. I ain't want to go back and talk to her. So what I'm gonna do is but talk you'll be to the like, girl. But you be oh. like abusing all your girls and shit. But yeah, yeah, lover boy. Feel you. Listen, well, y'all can say cut for hold, whatever y'all want to say. I, I'm telling y'all what I did. Started talking to her, not really talking to her like, oh my god, I'm a wife for you. Talking to her as in like we vibing. Like, okay, you making me forget about my ex. Mm. Me? Boom. End up vibing for a oh, long time. Oh, he's reading and something. Boys, oh my god, he's reading like, something. Oh my god, he's reading something. He keeps looking at the same. Look at look at how he just looked at that spot. Look at that. Long time, and then boys like she never Bro. went home. He forget about. He's reading my something. Ex. Ggs. Timmy, boom. <laughs> it's like he's reading something. Gg. <laughs> you're caught. You're done. You're done. You're reading something, buddy. We know. All right, bro. We got it. Bro. You're you're finished. End up vibing yeah, for a long finished. time, and then yeah, boys, yeah, like she finished. never went home from the day that that night she came from the truth or dare. So we end up vibing. Then boys started seeing her over and over at the crib, like without leaving. They go and try to tell me some stuff about her for me to get mad and like try to like make her leave. Y'all want me to tell y'all what she said, so y'all know I'm not lying about shit. I'm telling y'all, they was telling me she was just with man. I, ain't, I don't even give a fuck. They they, they was telling me she was with Spotty Gunham like two weeks with. Two weeks before she was at the crib, this and that. They wanted me to stop oh, talking shit. to her. Now I'm like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. She ain't just leave my house and go talk to bruh. That's what she did two weeks before me, bro. At the end of the day, fam, nigga not trying to think of my ex, no, none of that. Right now I'm just trying to get in a new mode and just you feel me. I ain't give a fuck. I don't still, feel you. you know, no, still I kept don't. around. I don't feel now, you. Now this Yeah, fuck that. This is what happened fuck right you. here. I kept her around. They know she wasn't going nowhere. I swear.
God point, I'm not lying to you. Listen to me. Suave starts talking. See, when niggas keep saying that, they're lying. Into a girl I used to talk to. Her name is Artika. Curly haired girl, light skinned girl. I even post a little snap if y'all want me to on my Instagram story so I can show y'all. Suave care. start talking to her. So Suave start talking to her. It's not an issue with me. I'm not I'm not jealous. You could talk to her. You could you feel me? Do what you want to do. Look, by talking to her, we go on a yacht one day and Suave brings her on the yacht. This is a yacht everybody put in and, and, and chipped in for, right? Oh, yeah, we yeah, all yeah. on that yacht. But listen, with that yacht right there, the music did not work. Did not work the whole time. So we're trying to tell the captain, bro, you can't do that. You can't have us on the yacht and, and the music not working. So I said, bro, Angela, you got to give us a discount next time for another ride or something, bro. So he said, y'all can have the yacht for half off an, um, another day. I said, bet. Let us get it for two days from now, which was, I think it was on a Wednesday because I had a video shoot. So I posted a flyer. I posted a flyer with, with um, two yachts on it. I said, y'all come to the video shoot. We're going on the yacht, on the yacht after. Boom. Okay. It's video day, right? Okay. Listen, hold on, hold on. Let me pause right there. I swear to God. Let me pause right there. Let me pause right there. When Suave brought that girl to the yacht, I forgot to tell you this. And I have videos of this shit too. Not videos of the girl. I have videos of me downstairs with the girl on the bottom of the yacht. So look, I'm with Kenzie on the yacht. I go downstairs. I go downstairs, right? Now remember, I told you I used to talk to the girl Suave talking to now, right? Go downstairs with Kenzie in the bathroom. I'm, I'm, I'm greasing. I'm in there. I'm greasing. I'm in there for a minute. I put this on my life, what? on my mama, on my daddy, whoa. She go come and knock on the door, whoa. She come in, and I hear just somebody knocking on the door, whoa. I don't know who it is. I'm just telling y'all who it is because I know after. Knocking, 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 knocking. What is this nigga talking about? But after, bro, I, I, I'm, I'm done. Come out. The captain now is trying to knock on the door, whoa. Fam, let me tell you, well, there was a chair like across the, the, the door right here, the door right here. There's a chair over there, well. When I opened the door, the girl I used to talk to, Artika, that's here for Suave, is sitting right here while the captain trying to open the door. Oh, yeah, they've been there for a long time. They've been there for a long time. I swear to God, my mama, I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the truth right now. So, boom, that's that right there. I see, okay, boom. She, what the fuck? she want my attention. Nothing happened that y'all. Nothing happened that y'all. Now, this is what I'm why, trying to why tell y'all. Why did you just tell... What, what was that for? Why did you just tell us that story, my nigga? That was so pointless. <laughs> what did that do? Like, what did, What was that supposed to prove, my nigga? Like, what the fuck? The, the, two days I from there, when we got... Just because he's, 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 he's no lying. Reason. I paid for that yacht because I had a video shoot. I paid for that whole yacht. That, that, that he's trying to read time, the script. The second, time, the second time. So, when it was video time, it, we needed 10 girls and 10 guys, right? We only had 7 girls in the lineup. Now, Suave brought Artika to the video shoot, right? And she came with some friends, this and that, right? We, we had seven girls in the lineup, but we needed extra girls. I said, yo, ladies, we need, we need extra females for the video, this and that. They was acting bougie, they was acting pretty, they was acting like they didn't want to be in the video. So what I did was I said out loud, and I put this on everything I love. Boy, I ain't not lying to you. I said out loud, I was like, bro, if you're not in the video, if you're not in the video, you cannot come on the yacht. You can't come on the yacht. I ain't gonna lie. The, 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 the yacht only for the people in the video. Boom, they ended up not being in the video. So fast forward, fast forward. We all go to the yacht, right? We all go to the yacht. And right. I swear to God, the, the girls, they the first three, it's three of them. It's, 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 it's a black girl, it's another curly hair girl that looks like Artika, and then it's Artika, right? So. They, they, they literally are the first ones to try to come up. I'm already on the yacht. And I say, no, watch out, watch out. And I say, watch out. Y'all not coming on. Y'all not coming on. I say, everybody, everybody that was in the video, come on, please. Come first. Come on. Let everybody come on. If there was girls from the video right there that could confirm, they would confirm with y'all. I swear to God, I'm not capping to y'all. So listen to this. That's where, um. Okay. We, they all go on the yacht. Now, yachts are limited people, so I go ahead and tell the captain. I said, these are all my people right here. After that, I don't know if it's limited. I don't know you could do it. Whatever you need to do. And and the girls still ain't come on. They were still on the bottom, on, on, on the dock. So, that's when I move. Because, you know, I'm not going to stay there security. I'm trying to have fun. I move. And then, I guess them boys told the captain, can they come on or they paid them extra? I'm not sure. You feel me? I'm not going to spread no details that I don't know about. But they ended up coming on the yacht. Now, this is where it all went down. This is where it all went down. All right? So, 
Hold on, bro. Hold on. <laughs> so we on the yacht. I know this nigga not just take a fucking smoke break. <laughs> nigga, you supposed to be defending yourself. You got all these allegations on your name and you taking a smoke break? Nigga, you got niggas saying all this you you scamming them robbing them you a bitch ass you a yes man ass nigga this that the third you got niggas saying you an abuser which is which this is not the first time this has been said so at this point we know it's true now because is is this apparently it's happened in the past and all type of shit so now we know it's true that you this don't just happen coincidentally twice like two girls just lying your name and say that you just that just don't happen you know what i'm saying like one of them might lie but one of them is gonna tell the truth and you tell me both of them said it? You know, come on. Come on, bro. Like, it might happen once, and she may be lying, she may be telling the truth, but it happened to you twice, my nigga, and both of them just happened to be lying? Cat, bro. And I swear to God, bro, I gotta keep swearing to y'all because y'all think I'm lying, and I'm not lying about none of this. This And listen, this, this, y'all gonna hear my end of this, on the story. Watch, watch this. Okay, we're so watching. We on the yacht, I'm, I like the fuck, well, that's, I gotta tell you, especially if I'm on a yacht. I'm with Kenzie again, bruh. I didn't. I go, and this is with a yacht. I got fucked up. Like, I, was, I had Polaroid pictures of me fucked up. Like, I'm fucked yeah, up. Yeah, you like choked right? the girl. At the shit. end, I was fucked up. Listen, well, I go downstairs with Kenzie while I'm chilling and I'm calling. Like, you feel me? This is like in the beginning kind of stage, right? So, I'm downstairs with Kenzie, but this time I'm in there for a long motherfucking time. Like, a long time, bruh. And bruh, I swear to God, the same thing happens again from the from two days ago. I hear knocking and knocking and knocking, and I hear a lot of shit, bruh. And I just keep hearing it, woo. So I get out, and I'm mad now, bruh. And I say, bro, what the fuck, bruh? And I see it's the same girls, woo. But this time, it was the black girl that was leading them. The the, the, the other, the third home, bruh. She wasn't there the first time. She came to, she came the uh, second time. She comes, bruh. And she's like leading the way. And I, I swear to God on my life, I did not hit this girl. I put my hand out and I say, why y'all keep fucking playing, bro? I'm tired of y'all fucking playing. And the thing is, they was trying to get in, in, in the girl. I was talking Kenzie's head because, you know, you feel me? I used to talk to Artika. Now, you know, girls, girls, girls be messy, bro. So my thing is, I tell the girl, I say, why the fuck y'all keep playing? Stop fucking playing, bro. Y'all keep playing, bro. Stop playing. I'm not playing with y'all, bro. Y'all keep doing this from the last y'all. I'm mad. My hands in their face. Stop playing. And plus, I, if you, look, I'm overprotected type person. If you would try to mess with anybody I'm with, a girl I'm with, I'm not going to let that slide. You got you, you got to do it to me too then. You feel me? So I'm with her. What? Well, you can call me Captain save a hole You can call me Superman for anything you want. If I'm with the fum talking to her, I'm not going to let somebody come mess with her or try to bully her. What what, what I'm going to look like? Like a dweeb ass nigga? No, how, I'm not going to let that do it. The girl was in. So you'd rather, so, so you'd rather put your hands on a girl to protect a thought that you met on a two man. Other than just letting it rock. And just letting, you know what I'm saying? Like you like you could have just said, yo, like cat, you could have just talked to them. That's all you had to do. Yell back, whatever. But instead of that, you decide to put your hands on one of the bitches. I don't even know there was a more girl. I don't know if this is the same time Nate said, yo, I went down there. And, and I'm guessing this is that same time when Nate said he went down there and, and Sid tried to reach out at the bitch, right? That's what I'm assuming. This is that same time. I'm saying this is that, that moment right here. He's probably going, he's probably not even going to put that part in, obviously, because why the fuck would he say that? But you know what I'm saying? So, so you're telling me you, you did that and it was multiple. It wasn't just one bitch. It was multiple girls down there. Really? Doing nothing to them. She never said just, just to protect the girl that you met. A, a week ago from a two man that's a thought and nothing to them to be in these 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 uh issues whatever they got going on you feel me right so boom 
Nate come out of nowhere, whoa. Nate come out of nowhere. Okay, this so it was, it was, the story, it was, it was. Nate comes out of nowhere, man, it's fuck. And, and I think he did that because the, the black girl that, he, the, that was there, that's the girl he was talking to, whoa. Never hit the girl, whoa. Put my hand in her face. Yes, for sure. Don't mess with somebody when I'm with them. What the fuck? You, I was down there minding my business. Y'all came in my business of mine. To, to, no, don't do that. So Nate come out of nowhere, <sighs> huffing and puffing. <sighs> I'm tired of y'all. Oh, we dead riding in man. Oh shit, bro! Get these ads on my face, bro. Picking this man's side, y'all always everything. Y'all never see no wrong in what he do. He just hit her. Y'all always defending this man. He just talking crazy without knowing what happened, whoa. So you know what I do? I say back, fam. Look, well, I, well, look. I told Nate, I ain't gonna lie. We all lived in the same house at the time. I said, I ain't gonna lie, Nate. You gotta get the fuck up out of this crib, bro. I ain't gonna lie. And I said that because I was leaving too. I didn't just say that for me to stay in the crib and, and this and that. Look, we fell out over that situation right there. Don't act like I've been a flawless friend the whole entire time. This and that. No, we fell out. Apparently, over you that have situation though. Right there. According to Nate, apparently you 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 you. you. You have though, type shit. You know why? Because I told Nate, bro, I'm tired of you picking the opposition <clears throat> side. Well, you don't even know what happened. You don't even know what they've been doing to me for you to come and try to make me look like a bad guy. For you try try to defend this girl because you taught her, fam. If I'm Captain Savo, you Captain Savo, you saving her without even knowing what happened. Well, without knowing they coming down to me to mess with me, fam. Mm. So at the end of the day, I'm like, bro, hell no. Well, you picking all these. Other people's side, if, if, if it comes to betting or picking basketball teams, this and that, Nate always trying to pick the opposite side. And that's fine. You could do that on personal things. But when it comes to these situations where it's serious, well, where you don't know what happened, don't come dive in without knowing what happened, fam. It's like mm. you're trying to make me look bad and you don't even know they came to me. They came forcing shit on me, fam. I wasn't out my way touching none of these girls, doing anything to these girls. No, well, I was minding my business with the girl I used to talk to. And then these girls came and messed with me. You didn't know that, fam. You came snapping on me. So what I did is was like... I can't be y'all friends no more. Y'all boys want to pick whole side, this and that, over, y'all doing all this because I didn't stop talking to Kenzie, whoa. Y'all hate me, y'all have animosity over me because who I'm talking to. Fam, listen, whoa, y'all say J Wonder a dick rider, this and that. Y'all don't know how what I be going through. Y'all don't know I got feelings too. Y'all boys don't come in and check on me, how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, this and that. What if I'm talking to this girl because I'm... I'm I'm broken inside because literally I'm trying to figure out what else I could do in my life, bro. I just got out of a relationship on a girl I really, really love. Y'all never try to talk to me and see how I feel. Y'all never see why I'm talking to somebody. Y'all never see that if somebody's making me feel good, why do I have to let them go? You feel me? No, bro. So all this animosity built through all of that, bro. And because I cut them boys off because that, that little situation right there, because, um, over a girl because I see y'all picking sides without knowing y'all boys have something against me. That's why I stopped being friends with them. Well, don't act like I've been a flawless friend the whole time. And everybody said, type shit, oh, type oh, shit. Nate, Nate was there for you the whole time, this and that. He, he, he was. He did go to court for you. He, 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 he thugged out that probation for you. He stayed around after all those times. You tried to hoe him. It, to me, it's not like that nigga was on your side for, for he, he went through it. Listen, bro. Yes, Nate was there for me the whole time. I said that before. Nate helped me so much. Even when we was at the Steve's crib, oh, okay. Nate, every, Nate edited every single vlog. I'll never take that away from him. He helped me so much. I paid him for the vlogs, all right? On top of that, fam, Nate came back to YouTube because of me. And I never told y'all that. I never said anything about that. I never rubbed my hands on it. Well, I told him that probably after he acted like a whole ass nigga. I said, bro. You gonna do this to me after everything I did for you, fam? You was working at a call center, whoa. You're, you're fucking YouTube. And tell them to show y'all this if I'm lying, whoa. Tell y'all to show y'all this. Tell them, to, tell them to show y'all this. You're YouTube for six months. It says 0, 0.0 with some sense. You didn't make over a dollar on YouTube. So what did I do, bro? I put my hand out for you. I was like, bro. Fam, you can't be working at no call center, bro. You got to be in some type of area with YouTube. You got to come back to YouTube, bro. I ain't going to lie. This is not what you're supposed to do. I swear to God on my life, bro. On my grandma that's dead. On my mama. On my daddy. I swear oh, to God shit. I'm telling y'all the truth, right? Oh, shit. I said, fam, you can't be oh, working shit. at no call center. Well, you too big for this, bro. And I felt bad from the bottom of my heart, bro. This man was not even on YouTube. And it's crazy, bro, that this man wasn't on YouTube. He stopped. He quit doing YouTube while I kept going. And now he's trying to take my YouTube channel away from me. Hell no, nah, look, well, the man wasn't doing YouTube. I said, you got to come back to do YouTube. So what did I do? I let him use my brand new camera. 
I let him use my net brand new camera. I let him use my brand new idea, find your match. I set up the studio and the people for him. And let me tell you what happened, whoa. The, the Cardi, my thumbnail designer, I said, yo, make the thumbnail exactly alike, whoa. I, I, shared, I shared the video on my community. I shared it on my vlogging community. I made everybody share it, whoa. The video went fucking viral, whoa. The, that same month from making zero, zero every single month, Nate made $5,000 that month. Tell him show you the revenue. Tell him show you the revenue so you can see I'm not lying to you. Sorry, and then, bro, I believe that. I believe that. I believe that. I, I won't take that away from him. I do believe that. But that don't just automatically make you a good friend, though. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, you, you put your mans on and shit. I mean, saying you made him. I mean, I guess you could say that. It's kind of crazy when you put it like that. But, like, you know what I'm saying? I guess you could say that. But, like... I just don't automatically make you just a good friend that just Nate should just be like, oh, fuck whatever he did. Like, he made me, you know? It don't matter if he he cussing me out and making me feel like a bitch ass nigga and, and, and hitting the girls that I'm that I'm trying to bring around and shit. You know? Man, fuck that, bro. It don't matter if we fight, bro. Fuck that, bro. He made me. Like, that's just not what the, like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, just supposed to make him to like a yes man, like all your other friends, bro. Like, no, bro. And those are not your friends, bro. Nate was your friend. Nate was a was was a real nigga. Nate was your friend. The niggas telling you no, those is your friends. Them yes man ass niggas, those is not your friends, bro. Get them niggas out your circle, bro. You do not need yes man ass niggas in your circle. Hey, we all vibe and we doing good. We making videos at, at at the other crib too. This is not the Steve's crib. This uh, the crib before. We making uh, videos there. His, his channel going up. He, he he's finding himself. He's finding himself again. Now the same way you helped me when I first started, I helped you come back into YouTube. So don't act like we didn't help each other, fam. I just didn't sit there telling everybody that you that that I did that for you. You feel me? Mm. But you feel me? So with that situation, bro, it's like all of that shit started getting to his head. Then you picking like all, people on the other side without even seeing me through. I'm like, nah, hell nah, bro. So ended up and and they and, and and look, let me tell you another thing. This is another thing that went on through this moment right here. My cameraman, which is Willie, he was responsible for my camera. Me and Willie got into it. I might seem like a bad person. I have issues of why I got mad. I have reasons of why I got mad. Let me tell you. Let me tell no, you. You do have issues. You have anger issues, gang. Willie, I'm not saying he lost it, but he was in, in charge of it. Yo, fuck your ads, YouTube. We lost a, a, a fucking $30,000 camera case with oh, cameras damn. in every memory card I ever made of my YouTube career, bro. I lost it. Willie was in charge of it. Let me tell you what happened. Went to, to the store and we came back. We came back um, at the store. We, we, we put something in the back of the car. Then we went somewhere. When we went somewhere, we opened the trunk again. It was like five minutes ago. We were supposed to go to Orlando. We didn't notice. I mean, we noticed the camera was in there. Now, we look. We look. We're we looking for the camera and, and Willie, Willie doesn't know where the camera's at. So, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I already had like previous issues with Willie plus me losing thirty thousand dollars I said Willie ain't gonna we can't work together no more bro I said bro I'm losing too much well like too much is happening right now so that's what happened with, with me and him before anybody tries to say I'm a bad person this and that sometimes you got to move on from working with people or, or move on from relationships and that's what people don't understand I, they didn't if, if I was such a bad person too and, and me and Willie are cool right now you feel me this has nothing to do with anything. I'm just telling y'all, if they try to make paint a bad picture on me, saying, oh, I'm flawed to my friends, this and that. No, we had issues because I lost a $30,000 camera case that had everything I ever recorded on YouTube. Had all my mics, had two cameras in there, had my picture camera in there, had my, um, what's it called, what was it? It was a Polaroid in there. It had so much stuff that was valuable to me that it hurt me to lose that. So I just said, right. okay, I gotta move on. So... That's why you see me with a, a new uh, camera person right now, you feel me? Me and Willie are still cool as friends, but business-wise, business, you got to make changes. Right. So that's why I'm telling you, that part, for me, that got nothing to do with anything. what about the part you hit girls and shit? We talk, we still ain't got... Fuck the camera, man. Each other. Them, boys, them boys unfollowed Willie and, and all of this because Willie started talking to me because me and Willie was able to talk about stuff. That's why them boys came on the internet to tell y'all these stories while I'm still doing my thing. And, and we been stopped being cool months ago. Them boys want to come on the internet now. They see me and Willie cool. They see I never went back to be cool with them. Now they want to bring out these stories and make me look bad. How did they start off the story? They started off saying I'm gay. You know I'm not gay. If I was gay, this wouldn't happen. I mean, Nate didn't say it, but he did have the picture up. Nate didn't say you were gay. I didn't, I didn't see the other videos. I didn't even know there were other videos. But, you know, I'm just saying.
have been a problem right now because this all started over the girl Suave brought over that wanted me. And 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 and, and Nate, you know I'm not gay because the hoe you brought over, she fucked me and you slept with her after I didn't know you brought her. And then ah, uh, you slept with her after, and I told you I fucked. And then that's when that's why you have some type, some sort of animosity toward me. And you got animosity toward Jay Wonder because when we was in Charlotte and the girl, the, your best friend, we told you about that friendly ass shit with these girls. You probably the faggot. Don't call me no faggot. That friendly ass shit oh. you do with these girls. She friends on your ass when you met her in Charlotte. And what happened? Jay Wonder agrees because she wanted Jay Wonder. Girls don't like to be friends on stupid. So yeah, that. That's why you don't like Jay Wonder too. All that he's a dick rider, this and that, whatever you you gotta say, you can keep that to yourself. But anyway, on top of all of this, bro. Oh. Then when when we leave in the crib and shit, when we when we leave in the um when we leave in the um Steve's crib and stuff, when I told him they gotta get out, because I moved too from there. I was not gonna live in that place. I was not happy with them boys. I didn't wanna be part of that where everybody has animosity towards me. That's why I moved out. That's why I kept doing my own thing. You see how I keep doing my own thing and I go on tour and everything. Now they want to bring these things. I bet this is a whole new house I've been lived in. Well, this problems occurred with the last house. You bringing these problems up now? No, listen. So I told him, I said, I ain't gonna lie, y'all gotta leave. Then when they left, I mean, uh, when they left, I left too that same month. It's not like I stayed in that house. It's not like I try to profit from the brand. I don't post nothing on that page i never posted nothing with nobody else after they left you feel me so if i was trying to profit i was not trying to profit there was nothing to profit from there we just got monetized we probably made like what 1500 we just got monetized come on now there's nothing to profit from the fuck um i mean 1500 is that's a good amount that's like i don't know like i don't know about you like i know you like that's nothing but me like i could use 1500 that shit like that's that's good to me, type shit. You know, I know for you, like that's that ain't shit. Like I'll take it if you don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I could use it. You feel me? We left, and then it was like two, two. Uh, it was like a couple days left, and I and and I don't know. I texted Nate. I was like, bro, you gotta leave, bro. Like make sure you, your stuff out by today, cause you know, time to turn the keys back into the to the owner. Nate ends up texting me. Oh. You saying you made me, you gotta show me you made me, this and that, blah, say, blah, this, he just talking crazy to me, so. I didn't say that in the text I, messages, though, like, in the text messages, I mean, I mean, they could have deleted it, or, like, not showed that part, for sure, he for sure could have did that. But what we saw, at least the conversation, there was a whole conversation that wasn't deleted. So. End up sending him, this is when he said he got jumped, because people were saying I jumped him, this and that, Send end up sending my current location to his ass. How much time I got? Four minutes. I'm gonna end it before four minutes. End up saying my current location to that's when I'm at the barber because he kept talking crazy. And I said, I'm not gonna fight you. Now, mind you, we was going to Tampa the next day and I was just getting a haircut. I got a haircut and I get a black tape and everything. So you feel I'm not, I told him I'm not gonna fight. I'm not trying to fuck up my little black tape and shit. So, oh, and my hair right. So, ends up still pulling up. Swear to God on my life on my mama. Let me talk quick, real quick. Swear to God, everything I love, he come in, he say, uh, you say you made me? He's like, he's not fully crying, but he's like huffing and puffing. Swear to God, I put this on my life, bro. You say you made me? What the show me you made me? Now I'm squared up with him walking around like this. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm not gonna fight you. I said, I'm not gonna fight you. So then I'm with J1, the money team, EJ. Now it's EJ and Nate by themselves. Okay, ex-girlfriend roasting kid, king said, and call a kid. There. It's not nobody else. So how you say it? Jeff and them boys was not there. This is when they said I spit on him after I'm gonna tell you all of this. So money team and EJ, they started fighting. So after was, that, wait, is that the one Nick, where uh 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 is that the ex that uh 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 King Say called a bitch? Comes like closer to me and I punch him in the shit. Punch him in the shit, I promise, bro. So then he's still walking towards me. It's a big guy, you feel me? Still walking towards me. Bop bop, hit him again, hit him again, God, right? Shit. Now Swear he comes with his head down, fam. He comes with his head down, and he, he, the big nigga, listen, he come on top of me, and he, uh, I'm on the floor this way now. I'll show you real quick. He on top of me, just like this. Now, he's not hitting me or nothing. He's not throwing no punches or nothing. His fucking head is just on me. He's just laying his heavy ass body on me. He laying his heavy ass body on me. He not getting up. Hell yeah, whoa, we don't fuck with you. Wonder came behind him. Bah, bah. 
Bah! Hit him in his fucking head. So y'all jumped him. You want me for anyway. I ain't not told you I was gonna fight you. You don't want that mad at me. Cause we gotta break up and leave the crib. No, don't be mad at me. Plus we shouldn't even have been fight. I'm going on the video. I ain't even wanna fight you. When we box and everything, you never beat me. So stop. I don't know why you always wanna keep fighting me. Why you wanna take your anger out on me. No, and don't try to take your anger out on me no more right now, bro. I'm on tour. I'm doing my little thing. You feel me? I been st I don't even say nothing about y'all boys. I been stop being cool with y'all boys. Don't bring me up in y'all misery now, bro. I don't bother nobody. And, and y'all boys not saying the full story. I don't know the full story. So don't come here saying shit without saying nothing. And you know I'm not gay. So stop playing with me. That little TikTok shit I did. That's why I don't even be on TikTok no more, bro. Feel me? But I'm gone. That's my side of the story. Now, you don't got... I don't know. Listen, bro. I'm not telling you I'm a great... Angel or this and that, I'm just telling you my side of the story. Yes, I had issues with getting angry. Yes, I had snap on people sometimes. I'm not perfect, but at the end of the day, I'm not no Type demon. Shit. Don't act like I don't help y'all or help y'all or brought you and share. He still never addressed like the the hitting woman allegations, but like I guess I guess we every are, single video. I guess I guess it's just y'all up. With we'll just look past it, I up. guess. Don't ever try to make me look like a bad guy because we fell out over one issue. So because we fell out, everybody falls out over this and that. Don't. Don't try to bring up the bad things I did once once things come on. No, hell no. Nah. Don't do that. Mm. Not gonna work like that. Don't do that. But shout out to everybody rocking with me. I'm on tour right now. Shout out to every state. Shout out to everybody I met. And you can see and everybody I met personally can vouch for how 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 nice of a person I am to them when I meet them. I don't think I'm bigger than anybody. I don't think I'm I don't even fucking think I'm famous, well. You feel me? So all that Come on now. Let's be real here. Extra bullshit. We don't got to do it, bro. Come on now. Y'all don't know what I go through. Y'all don't know how I be feeling inside, bro. I wasn't even going to respond back to this, but y'all don't know how bad and how, like, these people are trying to make me look, well, I'm not that, that guy. I'm not that person, well. Don't do that. The fuck? Thrashing out over a girl from a two-man is nasty. <laughs> Uh, there's too many missing pieces in this story, and Nate filled in the boxes perfect, damn near perfectly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying like this. This didn't really. We believe Nate. You could tell who's being truly gen genuine. I see right through you. I'm not even gonna hold you the way you take over your homeboy's YouTube videos to the point where I have to keep checking to see whose shit I'm watching. Says enough. I feel everything Nate said about you is true. Sid is lying, lack accountability, and a manipulative narcissist. It's sad to see Sid and Nate beef and they literally grew up together. I don't think Nate wishes you anything bad, but you need to take accountability and realize that you need more people like Nate in uh, your corner who can correct you when you're wrong. Not just say yet, not just some yes men and dick writers. It seems like the money and fame are getting to you. Not, never forget the people who helped you get to where you are today. Type shit. Watch Nate's video. The guilt could have killed him. Sid is tripping. Whoa. Huh. Sid, you're finished, bro. <laughs> Yo, Sid, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That video did absolutely nothing. That video didn't do shits at all. That didn't help you at all. That video did not help you at all, Gengi. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if, if you're gonna fall off after this. I, I doubt he really will. I feel like niggas are still gonna watch Sid. Like, you know what I'm saying? But... Cause you know how internet niggas be like they don't like they don't really give a fuck like that like that. But me, will I be supporting that nigga? Absolutely not. <laughs> so I might. So so that that date night video that we watched, even though I wanted to post it, it may or may not come out. Just being honest, bro. Cause that shit is crazy. Sid, you're you're finished, buddy. This video's coming out though, Pashelski.